Standing in front of South Hall, you can see the remnants of the old campus structure. Built in 1873, South Hall is the only original building still standing on campus. It had a twin building named North Hall, destroyed in 1917 since it was a fire hazard, unlike South Hall, which was made of brick. There are two African-American women associated with South Hall due to their accomplishments in the field of library science. Miriam Matthews became the first credentialed African-American librarian in the state of California. Matthews earned her bachelor's degree in Spanish in 1926 and then earned her certificate in library science in 1927. Matthews settled in Southern California and spearheaded efforts in 1929 to establish Negro History Week in Los Angeles, which later became Negro History Month. She also became branch librarian of the Helen Hunt Jackson Library, where she compiled a substantial research collection documenting the contributions of African Americans to California's history and culture. Matthews received many honors and awards during her lifetime. She died in 2003 at the age of 97. In 2004, the Hyde Park Branch Library was rebuilt and renamed after Matthews in her honor. Eliza Atkins Gleason came to Berkeley after earning two bachelor's degrees, one at Fisk University and the other at the University of Illinois. Both degrees were in library science. She was committed to the library profession and earned her master's degree from the Graduate School of Librarianship in 1936, which is now known as the School of Information here at South Hall. Gleason went on to earn her doctorate from the University of Chicago in 1940 and became the first African-American in the United States to acquire a Ph.D. in library science. Every three years, the American Library Association awards the Eliza Atkins Gleason Book Award in her honor for the best book written in English in the field of library history. Gleason stayed very active throughout her life and died at the age of 100 in 2009.